Of the many white oaks in eastern North America, Quercus alba is the white oak. This is the tree that we think of when we talk about white oaks. It's a huge tree at maturity, living for up to 400 or more years, up to five feet in diameter. It's relatively slow growing, but still makes an excellent shade tree or lawn tree if it's given plenty of room. It is one of the white oaks, so if you look carefully at the leaves, you notice that there are no bristle tips at the end of each lobe, which makes it white oak. There's also other characteristics that make it a white oak. The wood actually, the vessels are actually closed up, so it does not leak liquids, therefore making it very good for barrels, for whiskey and wine, where the oak imparts a very distinct flavor. The acorn is a, has a very distinct cap, has knobby scales. This is last year's. The new ones will be bright green before they drop. It takes only one growing season for the white oak acorns to mature and they germinate right away without any pretreatment. White oak, like all oaks, have a very distinct bark. And you have to look at the whole tree in order to appreciate how the bark subtly changes. On the lower portion of the tree, the ridges tend to be very rectangular in appearance with relatively shallow furrows and not a whole lot of space between the ridges and furrows. And as you look up very high up in the tree, the bark tends to take on another characteristic and becomes almost platy. And so you don't really see that in any other oak species in the northeastern United States, that two types of bark on one tree. Quercus alba, white oak, very valuable timber species, beautiful lawn tree, and a very important species for wildlife.